episode of Death in Paradise, viewers are finally set to have some answers after the latest preview teased Florence in mortal danger after taking on an undercover assignment. So will she survive her ordeal? We're chatting to Josephine Jobert herself to find out. Josephine, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I think it's fair to say that people are very nervous. The the post preview for episode three is giving out some major hints that Florence is in some serious trouble. What can you tell us about the upcoming episode? I've received so many messages from people telling me, you better not die in episode (laughs) four. I was like, don't be angry at me. I mean, (laughs) it's not my fault. It's so funny. Um, What can I tell you? Um, Yeah, people are very nervous, I know, because they gave away the fact that she might get shot. Do you really think? I don't know. Florence is a tough, she's a tough woman. (laughs) She's very, very intelligent. So I'm not going to give away anything, but you'll see. The whole episode is about this, the tension. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? I mean, she's in the house with a suspect, with very dangerous people, (laughs) pretending to be a very nice au pair. The whole thing is about, is it going to happen? And I think it's really funny that people know that something is going to happen. They could have said nothing. They could have just, you know, the fact that they put that in the what's coming next Mm. is very, very, very funny. They're playing with the audience and I like that. It's funny, people are, people are sensing that something's about to go down here. And I mean, without giving anything away, are you quite excited to be having an eye on Twitter and seeing people's reactions? Yeah, not really on Twitter, <laughs> because I'm, I don't know how it works, Twitter. I'm like, oh. uh, it's, it's too <laughs> much for me. Yeah, too much information. <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, but it's really frustrating because I, I cannot answer. I, can, I cannot say anything. I cannot say, I cannot lie. I cannot say the truth. Um, so I'm like, I'm sending smileys or be patient guys, you'll see I'm trying to play with it, but it's really frustrating. (laughs) I like the fact that they're very, very into it. And I mean, it's really touching that they like my character so much that they're so afraid. The one thing you can talk about is obviously we've seen a few, uh, sneak previews and we've seen your new look, you know? We love your look in this episode. You know, were you involved in inventing the look and what, what kind of vibe you were going for? Because we loved it. <laughs> yeah, at first she was supposed to be like uh, the personal assistant um, of Victoria, the main character of this episode. And then they changed um, for the au pair, which I thought was very, very nice because we could play with a total different look she had to be to look a bit younger but not too much so the curly hair and the costume yeah i worked very closely with the hair and um, costume department Uh, we spent hours trying things because my hair is straight i mean uh, i do brazilian straightening so we had to make it like curly hair but it had to look natural Oh gosh, we took hours in the morning, like an extra hour to do my hair and makeup and the, the jewelry, you know, I have um, ear jewelry. Yeah. That was my idea. So yeah, we worked very, very closely together and I'm very, very happy with the look. But I remember the first time I walked to set, you know, the crew didn't know what my look would look like. So they were like, oh my God, I love the hair. I love the costume. They were obsessed with my hair like this. And I I agree, the curly hair looks quite good. Thank you so much for joining us and don't forget to tune in tomorrow as we're joined by Josephine to break down episode four.